Welcome on Extra Skill Modeling. From the next build, I'm building this Airfix Type 45 Destroyer Skill 1350. In the box, we have the various sprues you can see here the hull and uh, the uh, top part of the command tower and so forth. The um, hull is uh, split into two um, with uh, a waterline option if you wish, although it doesn't have a bottom plate for the waterline option but you don't have to put on the bottom hull if you wish to have it in a waterline diorama. There is a couple of aircraft, um, if you can put a couple of helicopters, you can have them in the flight mode with the, with the blades um, out, or you can have it in the storage mode where the blades are folded in. The instructions are nicely cleared out and um, th there's a couple of variants uh, for this. Um, for uh, the name ship, I'm going with HMS Dragon, uh, but this is your uh, decal and patent plan here. They're all the same apart from the name plates and the logos of each particular name ship. So, as I said, I'm going for HMS Dragon, so let's get into this build. So, to begin with, I've uh, primed the sprues. The only difference from my normal build is uh, on the bottom of the hull here, I've um, primed them with red primer. Uh, that's uh, because um, there's a, a sort of purple red colour that's going on, so red primer is easier. So now, what I'm doing here is I'm just testing to uh, mark off the waterline. So all I'm doing is taking my pencil and running it down the edge of the actual bottom of the hull here and um, placing on some masking tape uh, for the black waterline mark. I'm then using Rebel Aquacolor 08 Matte Black to paint the black waterline. Next is to build the bottom wall components. This is the bow breaker that I'm building here. It's separate. Um, also, uh, the screws and, and shaft are going in as well. Now, in the instruction, this is quite later on in the build, but I prefer to get this done now, um, so it's an easier uh, way when I'm building up the decks and that. Um, that when I turn it over I'm not smashing the decks against any surface and so forth. This is why I do it now. It's also easier for painting. So I'll just fast forward this part. Um, the locations are fairly simple to follow. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems here putting everything on. Uh, just uh, a little bit time consuming really. I'm painting the main deck with Rebel Aquacolor 77 Dust Grey. And for the hull it's Rebel Aquacolor or 76 light grey. So this is uh, the two dominant colours that's going to be throughout the build. For the bottom part of the hull it's Rebel Aqua Colour 331 Purple Red. So this is my go-to colour for um, ships uh, for the red colour. Um, some people uh, put in a, a normal red or a darker red. I just simply prefer this one. The shafts for the screws are getting painted in Rebel Aqua Colour 91 Steel. More than time, I'm just uh, building off the display stand. It's a, a simple affair, just two parts um, married onto the end, and then giving it a base coat of Rebel Aqua Color 17 Sandy Yellow. Then I went over it with a uh, light color LPW18 wooden deck darkener, so it gives it a, a wood effect on, on the stand. It's not a great effect um, on something this bulky, but depending on your painting, if you paint it in a streak sort of mode, it does look like uh, wooden grain. Depending on the delivery system you're going to be using for this part, yeah, it'll be depending on what um, holes that you have to drill. The, there's basically two um, launchers that go here. Uh, you can have them in single or in batches of four. I've decided to go in batches of four on this one. I'm now painted on the sprue Rebel Aqua Color 76 Light Grey for the main colour. I'm doing this on entirely all the way through on the sprue and I'll touch up as I go along. I'm using Tamiya Dwithering Master Series and I'm using the E here and the green component and I'm just using uh, this to highlight the um, ladders, uh, portholes and doors and so forth. And I'll do this throughout the build as I take them off the sprue. It's time to make up the um, uh, main part of the ship now uh, from the decking. Unusually um, the instructions are asking you to do this before you attach it to the hull. I did think about it and I thought about uh, placing it on the hull first. I thought no I'll follow the instructions and see how I got on because I've never actually built um, 
prepared the ship this way before. So it was a, it was a simple construction. All these little panels are just going, uh, getting cemented in a uh, position here. Now, they are tight. You do, it's a really good fit, but sometimes it can be too tight. You may have to trim a little bit. Don't worry if you see a part sticking out so much. That's probably because another part is going to be lying next to it and acting as a joint. You may need to fill one or two little parts um, as you go along, depending on your fitting. The depth markings and um, decals have to go in now before you do anything else. But only do this if you're having the um, doors open on this part. This is the hangar deck where the helicopters now get taken in and out of. But you don't have to do it if you're closing it up. And while I've got my uh, decal solution out, I'm just putting on the decals for the base, so the nameplate, HMS Dragon, and the on the other side it's a Type 45 Destroyer logo nameplate. I'm using Revo Apocalypse 08 Matte Black, and the, this um, is for the um, aerial, um, the radar system, and um, half of the Samson um, radar system. So it's one big panel that gets uh, painted in this um, black colour. This is the hangar door that I'm making up. Um, as I said um, a little bit earlier there, um, depending on uh, whether you're having it open or closed, or depending on what part you use. I guess, as I said, I'm having mine open. So I'll just have a look at the instructions here. They show you which parts to put in for open and closed. And then you simply just put on the top deck before actually putting on the hangar door. It should all push in quite easily. As I said, it has a tight fit, so you may need a clamp just to hold it. So just building up the radar mass um, here. As you can see, I'm clamping as I go, I go along. Um, it is a very tight fit, but the problem is when you push the power on, it will spring back, hence why you need the clamps. I would suggest if you're building the, the kit though, try and do these parts in sequence. If you jump to other parts because uh, they're, they're handier to do, you, you, you may find that um, other panels and that are getting in the way and you would have to re reattach them. So it's better in this case to, from now on, work in the um, kit sequence until of course you put on the hub onto the um, Samsung radar system now. And as you can see, I'm um, doing the touch-up details as I go along. And uh, the best way to place this on is onto the bottom first, then push it in. Again, you'll probably need some clamps just to hold it, but don't use a strong clamp because you can, can't push both side walls out of place. It's always wise as well, after each step, just have a look and see how your paint works fair enough. Uh, you may need to have some colour changes and so forth. I'm just adding the uh, black here uh, to the base of the tower mast. I'm using Rebel Apocalypse so and say Dust Grey once more uh, for the second um, level of the deck. Um, so any, any foot wells or, th or flats off and so be seen from uh, the air looking downwards uh, do in the darker colour. I'm building up the bridge now. Um, you can either paint uh, the inside of the bridge if, if you want. There is a little bit of detail there but it is difficult to make out once it's all closed up. I have noticed though that um, as you're putting in these uh, little upright parts here, these are the windows. If it's haven't supplied any clear windows for this kit, um, so you're either going to have to leave them black or fill, fill up the windows with um, a replacement for the glass. So what I'm doing here is I'm using Formula 560 canopy glue. I'm placing it on a cocktail stick and um, Put a little blob inside the hole then just drawn it out to fill in the gap. Now as I've said on many other videos this stuff drives uh, clear and um, acts as a film uh, for a window. Now there is other products out there of course you can do this with. This is just uh, the product I choose to use. It also self levels so as you can see there that's all in and that will dry it all clear um, within uh, an hour or so. You don't have to wait until it dries uh, before you place it on, however. Um, just let the drying take its natural course and then just uh, place it on. And then the uh, roof just uh, goes on top. It's quite a nice fit. You shouldn't have any problems with it. Now it's back to building the main decks. 
this is really quite simple it is just uh, putting these block in and paddles in there's not much to say really they they all fitted well as i said um sometimes a little bit too tight uh, but overall you shouldn't have any problems here the last to go in this part of the uh main deck assembly is this uh, i think it's a windbreak type thing i can't remember what it's called but that just sits in this is a very uh, flimsy uh, part and um, it's easy to get out of position i would suggest just um, cementing the uh, front part where my tweezers are now and leaving the arms out until it's uh, attached to the hull and then you can maneuver the arm parts uh, into position you may find they stick out a little bit otherwise on the underside there's a series of supporting brackets that need to be fitted I'm trying to get these as square as possible if, if you're unsure um, there's a little runs inside the um, hull the bottom part of the hull that they fit into and then it's time to fit the side of the hull i would um cement these in um, increments so start with one end and uh, just uh, run your your cement down for the capillary action or indeed um place it on before you play uh, attach but um it's difficult to do it all in one go so I would say just uh, put a little bit in, say uh, if you're starting from the bar up to the tower and work your way down. But it is a nice fit, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. I did throw in a couple of clamps just to hold it. It's not really necessary if you're waiting for one side to dry. Um, but um, depending on how you like to build, you know, the, the clamps do help out. I'm using Rebel Hacro 92 brass for the screws. It's not time to fit the bottom half of the hull. This just uh, fits on very easily. Just slide it on up, up to the uh, bow of the ship and uh, you shouldn't have any problem. It just slots in. You may need to put a couple of clamps in just to hold it in position. Uh, but apart from that, you should have any issues. On the radar dome and sensing, uh, radar system, there's um, some pictures I've seen where uh, part of it has a lighter colored gray. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm just using a little bit of masking tape to go around it before painting in uh, just a light colour grey on it. I don't know whether it's accurate or not, but I like to look. There's various little pieces to make up this uh, radar dome. Um, here you have the base plate and then of course the dome itself. Um, and in essence it's again quite easy to build. Uh, you have option for it to be free moving if, uh, if you want as well. And then it's a matter of just uh, placing it on top the um, radar system. Um, little bits and pieces, and so um, all the extra aerials, um, maps, and um, uh, more little radar domes. There's quite a few put, put on here, and um, they're, they're too small really to show on my camera. Um, but they all went on fairly easy, and it's a simple construction as well. It's essential to have a good pair of tweezers for when you're putting these uh, little points on. Um, they can be quite tricky to handle otherwise. On the aerial mast, there's um, not much construction, just uh, little pylons that you have to place on. And the aerial's painted in 08 map black by Rebel Aquacola before placing it on. And it just sits in the house and very nicely. And next is the anchors, and they just uh, place on. And don't forget about the measuring the ridgeables. Um, or on the ship. There's two of them to break up. Um, all they uh, need to do is get painted and placed in. Now it's uh, time to put in the launchers. This is uh, for the area where I, I drilled the holes earlier on and built. As I said, I'm going for the batch of four options. There's two to make up. Um, it can be a little bit tricky because of the angle you're placing them on. So they go on just at the front of the area where the bridge is. Um, into your location points that you drilled out. They face opposite each other, so we'll just turn it around. You can okay, have a look. That's them there, right in the front. Now it's time to make up the uh, weapons. Uh, a little bit of housing, and um, then of course the um, gun barrel itself. These are very small, and you may have difficulty making this up because of the size. The tip of the barrel is getting painted in X10 gunmetal by Tamiya. And I'm using Rebel Aquacolor 05 by for the dome part that goes uh, above the weapon. 
and they just get uh, placed on, on the pre drilled location point at the side here where I'm just pointing out. So the main gun has legs, and that's mixed, uh, made up uh, much the same way as the two little ones. There's uh, two sides, but there's additional backing piece that goes in uh, as well, um, which I'm placing on. It all joins in quite easily, and it's just a little bit small. Not as small as the um, two side guns, of course. You do have the option for this gun to move as well. Uh, just place it inside the um, location area here. Uh, I just should just clip in. It could be a little bit tight. I'm using light color UA734 black and rubber shades, one black. And this is for the blaze for the helicopters. And for the helicopter itself, it's 43 medium grey by rebel armor color. Now it's time to place in the steps that go run down the side of the hull. If you're having this uh, closed up, you really don't have to do this. But um, I'm having my ports open. And once they're on, it's uh, a simple case of putting on the the two doors um, in the open position. You have both options here for them to be open or closed. There's two halves of the helicopter to make up, but it's a suffocation uh, just bonding them together. Shouldn't have any option, uh, drama whatsoever. I'm using here Tamiya's X19 smoke uh, for the windows. This gives it a glassy uh, tinted look to the window. There's a couple of small decals um, uh, supplied if you wish to put them on. They are very small for them. If you may find them difficult uh, to place on. But once they're on, um, then you can put on your your own. So the tail one first, then the main. But only do this after you put the decals on, because you'll find it quite difficult to put them on otherwise. It's time to put on the decals. Um, there's a few to put on, but uh, not that many. The main ones is on the um, flight deck here. Uh, that's the biggest one to put on. It can be a little bit tricky to put on. It took me a little while to um, get it uh, into place. The last of the decals go on are the two um, flags. Now, I generally don't put these on, but I thought in this um, case uh, I'd have a go at putting them on. Um, they're just decals, so be careful when you're folding them, bending them onto each other, because they could actually break. The last thing I do on the build is uh, to put some handrails on. Now, these don't come with the kit. I had some spare lying around, so I'm just placing them on. And um, all I do is cut them to length, use a little bit of super glue to attach them. Uh, some people like using um, normal PVA glue to attach to these. Whatever works for you is fine. Uh, just remember if you're using super glue, um, the bond can be a little bit brittle sometimes from plastic to metal. Um, so just be careful of that. Well, this brings the build to an end. Slightly longer video than normal on this one, but I, I thought it would be good to get it all in one video. I would recommend this kit for anyone, uh, especially for beginners. This, this is a great uh, little kit to sink your teeth into if you haven't built a ship before. Um, it gives you all the fundamentals of building uh, up a hull and putting in the deck without being too taxing. Anyone can get something out of this kit. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the other videos on my channel. I'm sure there's something there for everyone. Hit that subscribe button uh, for any upcoming updates on of course future builds. Leave a comment and of course hit that like button. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.